China struggles to keep its economy going ahead of a key leadership change in just a few weeks, I sat down with Mark Mobius of Franklin Templeton to get his thoughts. It's a relatively young uh, economy, a young population. Uh, the infrastructure is not complete. They need, despite the fact that they've had an incredible boom in infrastructure, there's a lot more to be done. Uh, even though there's a lot of housing that is empty because it's too expensive, there's an incredible demand for housing at the lower end. Uh, so all of these things add up to continued demand. And by the way, exports are not going away. They're still exporting in huge quantities, and they're finding new markets in other emerging countries in Africa, uh, in the rest of Asia, in Eastern Europe, and so forth. So a combination of these things means that the economy will continue to grow at a pretty fast pace. One of the factors you've got to uh, realize is that the change in leadership results in the slowdown of the machinery in government. So that, you know, until the new administration, new leadership comes into place, you'll have things moving a lot slower than they normally would. Once the new administration comes in, then you're going to see things speeding up. Uh, the big worry, of course, is they are not able to move forward as fast as they would like for a number of reasons. Uh, you must remember they are now running into key issues on in the environment, uh, key issues on ownership, key issues on corruption. All of these could inhibit the growth going forward. Top risk uh, would be a breakdown at the leadership level because you need a, a very organized uh, leadership to direct the economy because it is a command economy. So if there's any weakening of that, then that would be a worry.